Zelamun alaikum, dear brothers and sisters. Today, I want to share something truly special with you. Allah is always waiting for us to recognize His presence and blessings in our lives. Let's take a moment to reflect on the countless ways He guides and supports us every day. Stay with me as we dive deeper into this beautiful reminder. May this message touch your hearts and bring you closer to Him. Let's begin. The signs of Allah in everyday life. In our daily lives, we are surrounded by countless signs of Allah's existence and His infinite wisdom. These signs can be found in the natural world, in the intricate details of creation, and in the way our lives unfold. When we take a moment to observe the world around us, we can see the beauty and complexity of nature, from the vastness of the universe to the delicate structure of a single flower. Each of these wonders is a testament to Allah's creative power and His meticulous attention to detail. Consider the cycles of the seasons, the rising and setting of the sun, and the rhythmic ebb and flow of the tides. These natural phenomena occur with such precision and regularity that they provide a sense of order and predictability in our lives. They remind us of the underlying order that Allah has established in the universe. Similarly, the intricate design of living organisms, from the smallest cell to the most complex ecosystems, reflects the wisdom and intelligence of their Creator. Beyond the natural world, the signs of Allah can also be found in our personal experiences and the events of our lives. Moments of joy and success, as well as times of hardship and struggle, all carry lessons and opportunities for growth. When we reflect on these experiences, we can often see how Allah's guidance has been present, helping us navigate through life's challenges and leading us towards greater understanding and faith. Moreover, the sense of peace and contentment that comes from engaging in acts of worship and following the teachings of Islam is another sign of Allah's presence. These spiritual practices connect us to our Creator and provide a profound sense of purpose and fulfillment. They remind us that we are part of something greater than ourselves and that Allah is always with us, offering His mercy and support. Recognizing the signs of Allah in everyday life requires mindfulness and reflection. It involves taking the time to appreciate the beauty and complexity of the world around us and to see the divine wisdom in our own experiences. By doing so, we can strengthen our faith and deepen our connection with Allah, finding greater meaning and joy in our lives. In recent days, the violent and brutal attacks in Palestine, especially in Gaza, are heartbreaking for everyone. One should not remain silent about this cruelty that kills innocent civilians and causes great suffering to children and families. We must clearly state that we stand against such abnormal humanitarian attacks and stand with our Palestinian brothers. My request to all brothers who watch this video is to support our Palestinian brothers as announced by Free Palestine in the comments, we must make our voices heard in unity and solidarity and shout out our support against oppression. You can help more people reach it by subscribing to our channel, liking and sharing our video. I am waiting for your support to show our support to the oppressed and strong together. May God help our Palestinian brothers. Our prayers are direct. Let's not forget that the voice of an oppressed person can be the echo of the whole world with greetings and prayers. Recognizing Allah's guidance, recognizing Allah's guidance in our lives is a profound and transformative experience. Allah, in His infinite wisdom and mercy, provides us with guidance through various means, helping us navigate the complexities of life and make choices that lead us closer to Him. This guidance can come in many forms, and being attuned to it requires a combination of faith, reflection, and a willingness to submit to His will. One of the primary ways Allah guides us is through the Qur'an, which is a complete and comprehensive source of divine wisdom. The Qur'an offers clear instructions on how to live a righteous life, providing guidance on moral, ethical, and social matters. 
By regularly reading and reflecting on the Quran, we can gain a deeper understanding of Allah's expectations for us and the best ways to fulfill our purpose in this world. The verses of the Quran often resonate with our personal circumstances, offering specific guidance and reassurance when we need it most. In addition to the Quran, the hadiths, records of the sayings and actions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, serve as a vital source of guidance. The Prophet's life exemplifies the practical application of the Quran's teachings, showing us how to embody Islamic principles in our daily lives. By studying the hadiths, we can learn from the Prophet's example and apply his wisdom to our own situations, thereby aligning our actions with Allah's will. Prayer, Salah, is another powerful means through which we can seek and recognize Allah's guidance. Through regular, sincere prayer, we establish a direct connection with our Creator, seeking His help and asking for clarity in our decisions. The act of prayer itself is a reminder of our dependence on Allah and our need for His guidance. It is during these moments of spiritual reflection that we can often sense Allah's direction, whether it be through a feeling of peace about a particular decision or through an intuitive sense of the right path to take. Life's challenges and trials are also opportunities to recognize Allah's guidance. Difficulties and hardships can be seen as tests of our faith and resilience meant to bring us closer to Allah. During these times, we may find that our prayers are answered in unexpected ways or that solutions to our problems emerge seemingly out of nowhere. These experiences remind us that Allah is always aware of our struggles and is actively guiding us towards what is best for us, even if it is not immediately apparent. Furthermore, seeking counsel from knowledgeable and pious individuals can help us recognize Allah's guidance. Scholars, Imams and fellow believers can offer valuable insights and perspectives based on their understanding of Islamic teachings. By discussing our concerns and dilemmas with them, we can gain clarity and confidence in our decisions, trusting that Allah's guidance is being conveyed through their wisdom. Recognizing Allah's guidance also involves being mindful of the signs and opportunities that come our way. Sometimes Allah's direction is subtle, manifesting through seemingly coincidental events or chance encounters. Being open to these signs and reflecting on their potential significance can help us discern Allah's hand in our lives. This requires a combination of awareness, gratitude, and trust in Allah's plan. In essence, recognizing Allah's guidance is about maintaining a continuous and conscious connection with Him. It involves immersing ourselves in His words, following the example of His Prophet, engaging in sincere prayer and being attentive to the signs around us. By doing so, we can navigate the complexities of life with greater confidence and purpose, knowing that we are being guided by the one who knows us best and wants the best for us. The power of prayer and reflection. Prayer, salah and reflection, tafakkur, are two essential practices in Islam that hold immense power in shaping our spiritual, mental, and emotional well-being. Through these practices, we establish a deeper connection with Allah, gain clarity in our thoughts, and find strength to navigate life's challenges. Understanding the profound impact of prayer and reflection can help us appreciate their significance and integrate them more meaningfully into our daily lives. Prayer, one of the five pillars of Islam, is a direct line of communication between a believer and Allah. It is a structured form of worship that occurs five times a day, creating a rhythm and structure to a Muslim's daily routine. Each prayer session is an opportunity to detach from worldly distractions and refocus on one's spiritual goals and relationship with the Creator. The physical movements in prayer, standing, bowing, prostrating and sitting, symbolize submission, humility and reverence towards Allah. 
These acts of worship not only fulfill a religious obligation, but also provide a sense of discipline and mindfulness that can permeate other aspects of life. The power of prayer lies in its ability to offer solace and strength during times of difficulty. When facing challenges, turning to prayer allows believers to seek Allah's help and guidance. It is a moment of vulnerability where one can express fears, hopes and desires, trusting that Allah is listening and will provide what is best. The act of praying fosters a sense of peace and tranquility as it reminds individuals of Allah's presence and control over all matters. This sense of divine support can be incredibly comforting, reducing anxiety and providing a sense of resilience. In addition to the prescribed daily prayers, there are various forms of voluntary prayers nafil, that believers can engage in. These include the tahajjud, night prayer, duha, forenoon prayer, and istikhara, prayer for guidance. These additional prayers offer further opportunities for spiritual growth and connection with Allah. For instance, tahajjud, performed in the stillness of the night, is considered one of the most spiritually rewarding practices. It allows for deep reflection and intimate communication with Allah, often leading to profound spiritual insights and a strengthened faith. Reflection, tafakkur complements the practice of prayer by encouraging believers to ponder over the signs of Allah in their lives and the universe. It involves thoughtful contemplation on the verses of the Quran, the hadiths, and the events of one's life. Reflection helps to internalize the teachings of Islam, making them more relevant and impactful in everyday situations. By reflecting on Allah's creation, believers can develop a greater sense of awe and gratitude, recognizing the intricate beauty and wisdom in the world around them. Reflection also plays a crucial role in self-improvement and personal growth. By regularly examining one's actions, intentions and behaviors, individuals can identify areas for improvement and strive to align themselves more closely with Islamic principles. This process of self-reflection fosters humility and accountability, encouraging believers to seek forgiveness for their shortcomings and make positive changes in their lives. Moreover, reflection can lead to greater empathy and compassion. By considering the experiences and perspectives of others, believers can develop a deeper understanding and appreciation of the diverse ways in which Allah's guidance manifests. This awareness can inspire acts of kindness and charity, strengthening the bonds of community and enhancing social harmony. The combined power of prayer and reflection lies in their ability to create a balanced and fulfilling spiritual life. Prayer grounds believers in their faith, providing a regular reminder of their purpose and connection to Allah. Reflection, on the other hand, deepens their understanding and appreciation of this connection, encouraging continuous growth and improvement. Together, these practices offer a holistic approach to spirituality that nurtures the mind, body, and soul. In conclusion, the power of prayer and reflection is immense and multifaceted. These practices not only fulfill religious obligations, but also provide a profound sense of peace, clarity, and purpose. By embracing the power of prayer and reflection, believers can cultivate a deeper connection with Allah, navigate life's challenges with greater resilience, and contribute positively to their communities and the world at large. Embracing Allah's mercy and love, Embracing Allah's mercy and love is a transformative aspect of the Islamic faith that brings comfort, hope, and a deeper understanding of His nature. Allah's mercy and love are boundless and encompass every aspect of our lives. Recognizing and internalizing these divine qualities can profoundly affect our spirituality and how we interact with the world. The Quran frequently highlights Allah's attributes of mercy and love. One of the most repeated phrases in the Quran is Bismillah ir-Rahman ir-Rahim, which translates to In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. 
This phrase reminds believers of Allah's infinite mercy and compassion, setting a tone of hope and reassurance. Understanding that Allah's mercy surpasses His wrath and that His love for His creation is profound helps believers approach their faith with a sense of security and trust. Allah's mercy is evident in the numerous opportunities He provides for repentance and forgiveness. Islam teaches that no matter how great our sins, Allah is always ready to forgive if we sincerely repent and seek His forgiveness. This concept is powerfully encapsulated in the Hadith Qudsi, where Allah says, O son of Adam, so long as you call upon me and ask of me, I shall forgive you for what you have done, and I shall not mind. O son of Adam, were your sins to reach the clouds of the sky, and were you then to ask forgiveness of me, I would forgive you. This assurance encourages believers to turn to Allah with their shortcomings, fostering a relationship based on humility and trust. Embracing Allah's love involves recognizing the countless blessings and favors He bestows upon us. From the air we breathe to the relationships we cherish, every aspect of our lives is a testament to Allah's generosity. Reflecting on these blessings can cultivate a sense of gratitude and contentment, helping us appreciate Allah's love in tangible ways. This gratitude is not just a passive feeling, but an active response, motivating us to use these blessings in ways that please Allah and benefit others. Allah's love is also reflected in the guidance He provides through the Quran and the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. This divine guidance is a manifestation of Allah's care and concern for our well-being, showing us the path to a fulfilling and righteous life. By adhering to these teachings, we align ourselves with Allah's wisdom and love, fostering a deeper connection with Him. The Quran's guidance encompasses all aspects of life, offering solutions and wisdom that ensure our spiritual and worldly success. Another way to embrace Allah's mercy and love is through acts of worship and devotion. Engaging in regular prayer, reciting the Quran, and participating in acts of charity are ways to draw closer to Allah and experience His love. These acts of worship are not just obligations, but opportunities to deepen our relationship with Allah and feel His presence more profoundly in our lives. They serve as reminders of our dependence on Allah and His continuous support and guidance. Experiencing Allah's mercy and love also involves extending these qualities to others. Islam teaches that showing compassion, kindness and love to fellow human beings is a reflection of Allah's attributes. By treating others with mercy and understanding, we emulate Allah's character and fulfill our role as His representatives on earth. This approach not only strengthens our relationship with Allah, but also promotes social harmony and empathy within our communities. Additionally, embracing Allah's mercy and love helps us navigate life's challenges with resilience and hope. Understanding that Allah's plan is always in our best interest, even when we face difficulties, allows us to trust in His wisdom. This trust alleviates anxiety and fear replacing them with a sense of peace and confidence. Believers are encouraged to maintain patience and perseverance, knowing that Allah's support is unwavering and that His love encompasses even the trials we endure. In conclusion, embracing Allah's mercy and love is a multifaceted journey that enriches our spiritual lives and impacts our interactions with others. By recognizing Allah's boundless compassion and love, seeking His forgiveness, expressing gratitude for His blessings, and adhering to His guidance, we can develop a profound and fulfilling relationship with our Creator. This relationship is the cornerstone of a meaningful and contented life, grounded in the certainty of Allah's eternal mercy and love. Strengthening your connection with Allah Strengthening your connection with Allah is a lifelong journey that requires dedication, sincerity, and mindfulness. It involves engaging in practices that draw you closer to Allah, 
deepening your understanding of his teachings and embodying the principles of Islam in your daily life. By nurturing this connection, you can experience a profound sense of peace, purpose, and fulfillment. One of the foundational ways to strengthen your connection with Allah is through regular prayer, Salah. Performing the five daily prayers is not just a ritualistic obligation, but a vital means of maintaining a continuous relationship with Allah. Each prayer session provides an opportunity to pause, reflect, and realign your focus towards the divine. By approaching prayer with sincerity and concentration, you can transform it from a routine task into a meaningful dialogue with your Creator. Taking the time to understand the meanings of the verses recited during prayer and reflecting on their significance can further enhance this spiritual experience. Reciting and studying the Qur'an is another powerful way to strengthen your bond with Allah. The Qur'an is Allah's direct message to humanity, offering guidance, wisdom, and inspiration. Regularly reading the Qur'an with an open heart and mind allows you to absorb its teachings and apply them to your life. Engaging in tafsir, interpretation, and seeking to understand the context and deeper meanings of the verses can provide valuable insights and a greater appreciation of Allah's words. Additionally, memorizing and reciting verses can help keep Allah's guidance at the forefront of your mind throughout the day. Seeking knowledge about Islam and its principles is essential for strengthening your connection with Allah. This involves studying the life and teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, through the hadiths and learning from the experiences and interpretations of scholars. By gaining a deeper understanding of Islamic jurisprudence, ethics and history, you can develop a more comprehensive and nuanced perspective on your faith. This knowledge not only enhances your personal spiritual practice, but also equips you to navigate complex moral and social issues in accordance with Islamic teachings. Dikr, remembrance of Allah, is a practice that involves repeating specific phrases or prayers to keep Allah in your thoughts and heart. Engaging in dhikr throughout the day helps maintain a constant awareness of Allah's presence and reinforces your reliance on Him. Whether it's through reciting phrases like Subhanallah, Glory be to Allah, Alhamdulillah, Praise be to Allah, or Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. Dikr can bring tranquility and focus to your mind, especially during times of stress or uncertainty. Acts of worship and good deeds also play a crucial role in strengthening your connection with Allah. Islam emphasizes the importance of charity, zakat and sadaqah, helping those in need and performing acts of kindness. These actions not only fulfill religious duties, but also embody the compassionate and merciful nature of Allah. By serving others selflessly and striving to make a positive impact in your community, you reflect the values of Islam and draw closer to Allah. Building a strong connection with Allah also involves personal introspection and self-improvement. Regularly examining your intentions, actions, and behaviors allows you to identify areas where you can grow and improve. Seeking forgiveness for your mistakes and striving to rectify them demonstrates humility and a sincere desire to please Allah. Setting spiritual goals, such as increasing your knowledge, enhancing your prayer quality, or performing additional acts of worship, can help you stay focused and motivated on your spiritual journey. Furthermore, surrounding yourself with a supportive community of fellow believers can significantly enhance your connection with Allah. Participating in congregational prayers, attending Islamic lectures, and engaging in community activities provide opportunities for spiritual growth and mutual support. Being part of a community fosters a sense of belonging and accountability encouraging you to stay committed to your faith and practice. Ultimately, strengthening your connection with Allah requires a holistic approach that encompasses both external actions and internal states.
It involves consistently seeking Allah's guidance, expressing gratitude for His blessings, and trusting in His wisdom and plan. By cultivating a sincere and dedicated approach to your faith, you can experience a profound and lasting connection with Allah, bringing immense peace and fulfillment to your life. As we come to the end of this reflection, I hope you feel inspired and uplifted by the profound reminders of Allah's mercy, guidance, and love. Strengthening our connection with Allah is a continuous journey that brings immense peace, purpose, and fulfillment. Remember, Allah is always with us, guiding us, forgiving us, and showering us with His blessings. Let's make a conscious effort to embrace these divine qualities in our daily lives. By doing so, we not only draw closer to Allah, but also enhance our interactions with others, spreading compassion, kindness, and understanding. May Allah bless you all with strength, wisdom, and unwavering faith. Keep reflecting on His signs, seeking His guidance, and living in accordance with His teachings. Together, let's strive to become better Muslims and better human beings, always mindful of Allah's presence in our lives. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.